Is Alice you in the future? Julia Amy Howell. So obviously she could be named Amy. Because Alice is gifted. Has that caused the passage? Has, has that caused past life for weekend? The idea of reincarnation has been around for centuries throughout multiple belief systems, cultures and backgrounds with mounting evidence from paranormal and psychological research such as hypnotic regression. The holy grail of such research is validation and this is something this case had in spades. I am Jared from Paranormal Now and welcome to the Now Investigations. The footage on screen now is taken from a psychic art session at one of our Voices from the Spirit World events in South Wales where our psychic artist Sean Durham depicted the spirit that had come into his mind which struck a chord with one of the participants, a lady by the name of Amanda, who we had worked with on a previous case, linked to above. Involving her little girl Alice, at the time was four years old. The drawing was of a spirit who appeared in several photographs. That's the image that Sean has drawn. Can I ask, if I go to the alphabet, could you give me the first letter of your name? Is that okay? So if I say A? It is standard practice throughout our investigation for the point of contact to give no information about the case to any other team member so that no mediumship can be invalidated. This is exactly what happened here. Upon visiting Amanda's house, I had no knowledge of a conversation between Amanda and Alice, where Alice remembered with astonishing clarity for a four-year-old memories of a past life. We commenced the investigation with a K2 meter baseline test, mapping out natural sources of electromagnetic energy at the property. Can you tell us how old you are. So if I count your age, if I count number, numbers, can you tell us how old you are? So if I said one, two, three, four, four. Are you the little girl that's come out on the pictures? Are you on the pictures that uh, Amanda's taken? This lady here. She's taking some, thank you. We noticed that the device was behaving strangely in an area where no natural causes could be found, so decided to test if a spirit was indeed trying to communicate with us. I'd done this by asking a series of probing questions, seeking intelligent responses, by seeing if the device would light up for a yes and remain dormant for a no. Amy, is that, can you just confirm that's your name, love? Just step towards me, I, I just want to make 100% sure your name is Amy. She's confirmed it three times, but I just want to double check. Alright, thank you. There you are. Amy, are you connected to Alice in any way? Yes. Are you connected to Alice on a soul level? Are you... How, would I, how do I put that to a child? It's going. It's going right, right, right. right. Was you Alice before? No. Was you Alice in the past? Is Alice you in the future? Right. Was Alice your sister? 
Were you Alice? So is Alice a future version of you then? Are you and Alice part of the same soul? You the same soul? Yes. So you have reincarnated as Alice, yeah? You've you've come back to Earth as Alice. Was your was your second name Llewellyn? Did you live in Wales? Did you live in Wales? Did you die in World War Two? Was it a bomb? Was it a bomb? Was it an explosion? In the kitchen. In the kitchen? Yeah. That's what I was talking. Did your mum make hats? Did she work with fabrics and stuff? Thank you. How, how many children were there? Could you tell me how many children lived with you? Just you? Two? Two children. Amy, how many brothers and sisters did you have? One? Two? Three? Four? Five? Amy, do you want to see your mum? Do you want us to cross you over? Do you want me to? Do you, do you want us to take us to your mummy? Yes. Where's that? The explosion of Ben. Four siblings. Mum's surname was Llewellyn. What what site is this? Carey family tree. The memory Alice had described was matching up exactly to the information I was getting through the K2 meter which meant there was a connection between Alice and the spirit who was appearing in the pictures. Alice remembered being in heaven after an explosion killed her and her sister in the kitchen of their house. Her mother was named Llewellyn. She made hats. Her name was Amy and she was four years old where she sadly passed away. The evidence of the conversation is seen on screen now. Is that everything? It's, you know, it's all, all the stuff we chatted about was bare. Think of the concept of reincarnation. Right. But where the kids remember their past lives. Right. But them kids, uh, most of the cases we've I've watched and learned about and read about, them kids are not gifted. No. Alice's case, she's gifted. Right. Right. Now, it, if that's the case, the communication with the past life is through the child. Right. Right? Now, Alice has a connection with this little girl, mm. where she can remember that life. But that little girl is also manifested as a spirit in this house, because we just communicated with her. Yeah. And we're not communicating with Alice. No. We communicate, we communicate with her past life. So that must mean it. When Alice was born, her, her gift cre literally created her past life as well uh, to manifest the spirit of her. So essentially, it's like she, she took a little bit of her old spirit with her for now yeah. to activate her gift and now we've got to release that spirit back to her higher self. Amy is her past life. Mm -hmm. Alice is picking up on the memories but it's the of same the spirit soul. Amy. Yeah. If you think about yours, it, it's they the same they, soul. They the separated, but the connection is Alice. A bit like a twin flame then. So when Alice was born, that four year old girl just was back in the world in spirit, like a ghost. But Alice is picking up Amy's memories because they're so close connected and she has a connection with spirit. So she can, she's, what she said to Amanda is what she's picking up off Amy. But I wouldn't be surprised if Amy weren't psychic. Because I, I, this is, this is a new one. The child that remembers the past life is psychic. And it's, this is what happens. We, the only way we'd ever know if that's the case, if we ever come across another psychic child, if she has a spirit with her, that used to be her or that or him, and it's the same thing. That's what happens when that is, when that one, weird significant thing happens when a child is born who's psychic <coughs> they must their, their past lives must split what does it mean to cross a spirit over 
usually needed when a spirit either does not realise they have a physically passed or has unfinished business and creates activity in a home we perform a crossing. This is an energy based exercise that will help to raise the vibration of the energy either of the house that is haunted or the spirit in question with the aim of connecting them with loved ones, family and friends. This was unsuccessful as Amy's soul had split. In order to explain this more clearly I'd like to use a quote from the Institute of the Integration of Science, Intuition and Spirit. How does a spirit incarnation work? Though we don't know for sure, we can imagine split incarnation as similar to how a mirror can split a beam of light into two or more beams of light. Similarly, the soul can project more than one beam of light or energy template into physical incarnation at a time. How are we going to break How are we going to do it? Are we going to break it? has got to be away. I don't think it is, but I think she chose it. I, I think, think she I, chose to stay behind. Yeah, I think she did. Yeah, she did. We can't get rid of her now. Right, do that again. Did you choose to stay with Alice? Can you say that again? Make you go like that again. Or did they say you have to stay with Alice? Yeah. You have to. Okay. We had been given some significantly detailed information about Amy and her life. Julia Amy Howell. Julia Amy Howell. So obviously she could be named Amy. Like a middle name. But this is the picture and this is a little girl that we saw when we were crossing the over. I need to oh yeah, I need to try and focus in on it. And there she is. That is the picture. She found this from ancestry.co.uk. We had indeed found her, and found a picture. Have a look on screen now, do you think the pictures match? Because Alice is gifted, has that caused the past, has, has that caused the past life to awaken? Because I, I know from what I've done with kids, and from my own mediumship, that I think I know spirit don't just pop in and out. It has to be a door with its rules. It's like science. So they've got to come through exactly. a doorway. Precisely. Yeah, they have to come yeah. through a doorway. Now, the spirit, uh, like a door this bedroom was very house, likely to be it. It was my bedroom <laughs> in the other house. Yeah. yeah. Right? Now I think yeah. this is this is where this is where I've been thinking since we came up here last, right? Now with kids, I think they open a doorway because they're mediumship and they can't obviously shut. It's different for us. Yeah. We choose to open it and close it when we, when we choose we, to We see it as something supernatural, whereas children see it as normal. We returned after conducting extensive research into the phenomena of reincarnation and twin souls to see if we could help Amy in some way. This time, Sean, our psychic artist, accompanied us. We continued further experimentation including a dice experiment where you throw a set of 26 dice and see a spirit can manipulate where the dice fall to make a word and a pendulum session to again validate the information Is your name Amy? Does that mean yes? Yeah Straight back and forth Alright Circle things okay? Back and forth for yes, circle for no, okay? Can you make it go in a circle for no? Thank you. Circles for no, okay, okay then. Uh, we got a no. We'll ask, we'll ask, we'll get we somewhere. Ask, can we ask a few test questions? This person here is her name Amanda. Is this person here Bob? Amy, are we 
talking to you, love. Amy, did you have a twin, love? No. Well, wow. you know. we've got some more activity then as well. She's gone up to bread. Can you remember living or being in spirit before Alice was born? We also established that Alice did not just remember her connection with Amy, but could remember other past lives as well. Amanda had shown us a drawing Alice had done with Sean, where she had accurately depicted a Roman villa from over a thousand years ago without any prior knowledge. There's like the tent kind of thing she said about. There she is. <laughs> So that's what she's drawn. None of the information we were getting would fully answer the question. How can we help Amy? We cannot regress Alice, she is far too young. We cannot cross Amy over. So what do we do? It was Richard who had the idea that we attempt to integrate Amy's spirit back into Alice by taking Amy through a form of regression getting Amy into a calm state of relaxation, then moving her energy back through her timeline to the point of Alice's birth, then bringing the memories of Alice's life into Amy's consciousness. There you go. Well done. Right. I have to focus on my voice, okay, and listen to what I'm telling you, okay? You just shut your eyes. Okay? You need to listen to my voice. You need to relax. You know I'm going to come to you. Just need you to close your eyes and listen to my voice. Take big breaths. sound of ocean. As the waves come in and go out. Listen to the sound of the sea. You remember the sea? As it comes in and goes out. As it pushes in and pushes out. You start to feel sleepy. I need you to remember your mum, your brothers and sisters, your nan. You want me to remember them when you was with them the last time you saw them. You were all together. Alice's light, I need you to move towards Alice's light. Move towards her light. As you move forward, you start to remember being Alice. And all the sounds around you. Is supposed to be. And 
as you start to open your eyes. Start to remember being Alice. Make sure I'm going to roll that light. All the memories of Alice are in your mind. Amy, if you're here, can you affect that device, please? Anything? I can't see from no, nothing. Nothing. She knows how to work that flat. Not a sausage, but the case of Amy and Alice was one of the most emotional, inspiring, and intriguing cases we have ever been involved in. And since our investigation, there has been no further activity associated with Amy around Amanda or her family. Is this evidence of the paranormal? It is up to you now to decide. Thank you for joining us on the Now Investigations. Check out these videos for paranormal evidence and subscribe to our channel for more paranormal content. I am Jared from Paranormal Now and thank you guys for continuing to watch our videos. We appreciate it very, very much.